just like the brochure. Now, that's a sweet thing, Mr. Gaynor. Uh, you handled her like a pro. Thanks, thanks. Ah, oh, she is, she is sweet. She's like a self-sustained biosphere on wheels. What do you think, Ginger? California, here we come. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be great. Look like my bedspread. Cookie, honey. Just, just try them on. Just, just try one of them on and see how it looks. Come on. She's not going to. Milo's right. No, Milo's not right. Well, it doesn't really matter what she wears. Oh, well, uh, these outfits are pretty and age appropriate. I need you to support me on this, Stu. Okay. Cookie. Honey. This is so. Lame. How about the little striped one? There you go. I should have held out for another two, maybe three thousand dollars. Sandra, move on. Signature where indicated. The bank is pre-approved, no problem. Yeah. Don't rush me. I don't like being rushed. Well, you know, the contract hasn't changed. It's just a formality. Well, you know, I would still like to read it if I'm going to sign it. And you know this is one of my rules. I'm just trying to get it to the recorder's office before I go on vacation. You know, when I feel pressured, I slow down. It's kind of like a survival mechanism. OK. Well, there's no rush, really. Why don't you just, um, Take these home with you and sit with them and bring them back when you're ready. You know, that's why I only work with you, Ginger. All my investments and you have never, ever let me make a mistake. That's what I'm here for. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's guy stuff. Think you're up for it? Huh? Yeah. You're ready for 32 hours at a hard road? And then when we get to California, we'll just eat uh, ice cream and hot dogs on the beach every day. But the beach is dangerous. There's sharks that could eat or kill you. Like, who told you that? Oh, my gosh. I guess I could be able to drive this. Oh, heaven is not. This thing is huge. We just go to Branson and swim in the hotel pool where it's safe. Listen, you know what? Statistically speaking, you're much more likely to be killed by your sister than a shark. They're all going to crowd into that? I cannot believe this. This is ridiculous. Now, Bonnie, be supportive. Mom, when am I not supportive? Oh, my gosh. It looks like Elvis's tour bus. Hi, Granny. Hey, Mom. <clears throat> so, what do you think of her? Stu, you're really going ahead with this? No one from Omaha goes to California. We're not beach people. We burn easily. Uh, Ginger has this all planned out, and she really has her heart set on it. We always go to Branson. Together. I know, I know we do. But this is gonna be fun, too. You sold the Ackerman house? Mm -hmm. Ginger! You've been dethroned. I'm sorry, Ginger. It just fell into place. It's big. This is really big. Oh, it's it's fine. I trained you. I'm very proud, actually. As a matter of fact, why don't you take an early lunch to celebrate? It's your sale? So it's your treat? Absolutely. <laughs> no martinis, you two. Well, you made her day. I'm feeling generous. I'm going on vacation to California. I don't think I'm not jealous. The only place we go on vacation is that hunting lodge during elk season. I don't know. Meg, I've been, I've been wanting to go to California for 20 years, and all of a sudden I'm feeling kind of scared. You want to go. It's so exciting. What if something goes wrong? Shouldn't I be worrying about something? Now you're worrying about not worrying? You're right. I'm overthinking it. Again. The rest of the world just gets along, Ginger. We live for mediocrity. I don't think it's so extraordinary to want to go to Doheny Beach. Why Doheny Beach? I went there 20 years ago, and it was just a 
It was just a, I don't know, a perfect place. A place where I could create a new history. What's wrong with Omaha? Meg, you ever feel like someone else got your life? Hmm. Is that one of those riddles with no answers? <laughs> so why can't Kevin come? Because it's not part of the plan. Kevin's not in our plan. It's my 40th birthday, honey, and I want to go on vacation with my family. Then Aunt Bonnie and Granny should come. They're family. Not immediate family. And besides, they always want to go to Branson. Daddy, please. <laughs> Think about it. Come on. Just think about it. The four of us on vacation at Doheny Beach. Mother, please, again with the postcard. Look, you are not in high school anymore, okay? So just get over it. Honey, I had the best summer of my life in Doheny Beach. And I want that for you. <laughs> Maybe I want my own summer of us with Kevin. You know, she has a point, huh? I mean, everyone we know will be in Branson. Exactly. God, I hate this already. It's gonna be the best family vacation ever. Kevin. <sighs> California. That's right, California. First thing in the morning, bright and early. I think I should wait up for Cookie. She's not home yet. No, that's right. I gave her an extra hour past her curfew. She and Kevin are just sitting in the RV. Well, do you think that's a good idea, Stu? Well, she's 15. Well, that's my point, honey. Mm -hmm. They just want to say goodbye. They're not going to see each other for a couple of weeks. Well, all right. Now, honey, did you remember to pack the first aid kit? Mm -hmm. I did. I even put some extra ice packs in for sprains and contusions. And the insurance papers? Are they in the glove box? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just in case. Emergency numbers? Everything's in the RV. Hmm. Well, you thought of everything. I did. I know. It's, very, it's a very sexy quality, don't you think? Actually, I do. Oh, good. Hmm. So what's our first stop now? Oh, yeah, let me show you. It's right here. It's the uh, state line rest stop. Rest stop? It's an historic site. <laughs> Why would anybody put a rest stop at a historic site, Stu? It, it's, it's part of the Oregon Trail. I mean, you can still see the, the ruts where the Calistoga wagons went through. Well, we'll just be like pioneers. Yeah, you know, you know uh, Nebraska has some of the nicest rest stops in the entire country. Did you know that? No, I did not know oh, that. Yeah, they're, they're uh, yeah, they're... They're scenic, they're, they're comfy, and they're uh, educational. We're really quite renowned for our rest stops. Hmm. <sighs> Dad, turn it off! I'm turning it off, Milo. Call the alarm company? Cookie, I called them 27 minutes ago. Can't you just tell them it's not working? Obviously it is working. That's kind of our problem right now. So just don't panic, all right? Just get out to the RV and just, just, just stay calm, all right? All set, honey? Yeah, but Dad needs help. Well, aren't you going to do something about the alarm? Your father's dealing with it. So just how long is this whole stupid trick going to take anyway? You know the schedule, Cookie, so pouting is not going to change it. Now, here is Doheny Beach. We are booked at a three-star RV park for eight whole days. Imagine it. Pacific Ocean right at our doorstep. You're not wearing that. Well, like it matters. I'm going to be stuck in this lame RV the whole time, and nobody is going to see me. It's a matter of personal pride, Cookie. And discretion. 
I am not wearing that. But just because it's ladylike and tasteful doesn't mean that it's unfashionable. Yeah, it makes me look like a tour guide at Mormon World. Well, when we get to California, hopefully your mood and your taste will both improve. Honey? Stu? Uh, we don't want to start our trip behind schedule now. No one is getting behind schedule, all right? The drive to Doheny Beach is 32 hours. Plus, I factored in a... Ah, I, I factored in a buffer zone, so we've got plenty of time. Stu, come on, the neighbors. We're never going to get out of here. We should have left Omaha an hour ago. I like your new attitude, young lady. California's already a good influence on you. I'm going under protest. <laughs> Stu, call the alarm company again, please. No, I, 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 I've almost got it. Just give me a minute here, all right? I think I, think I have it. God, Milo and I are abused, you know that? Uh, there you go. When in doubt, just read the instructions. We are candidates for foster care. your house? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, it's a new security system. You got some ID? Uh, yes. Uh, I know it's early, but we're going on vacation. Oh, where are you going? Doheny Beach. Ah, n n never heard of it. It's in Southern California. We always go to Branson. This year they got Roy and Petula Clark singing Elvis Alive. It's a Andy Williams theater. Oh. Oh, and we always, I mean, always stop at the Precious Moments Chapel in Carthage. You know, the place with them teary-eyed little statues. You ever been there? Every year for as long as I can remember. But not this year, huh? No, sir. Morning, Jimmy. Hey, Bernie. Problem? Ah, help has arrived. Hello. Hi. 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 All right, you're going to hold this button down for three seconds here. Mm -hmm. See? Then you're going to wait for the light to flash green, see? Ah. Yeah, it's all in the manual. Yeah, well, sorry about the bother. Oh, no bother. I'll mm -hmm. be billing you for the false alarm. Oh, that's great. <sighs> you're writing me a ticket? Yeah. Noise ordinances, disturbing the peace. What? Hey, that's what you pay taxes for, ain't it? Have a nice trip to Do Doohickey Beach, California. Doheny Beach. <laughs> Stu! <laughs> Honey! <laughs> we won't charge you for that one. Ready to go, hon. You know, you're, you're getting yourself upset. It's not like we're criminals, Stu. I know, so let's just get over it, okay? I just think he enjoyed it too much. He was trying to tell me he didn't approve. Approve of what? Thanks. Approve of the fact that we're not going to Branson. You really think he cares where we go for vacation? That's when he turned. That's when he got hostile. When I told him that we were going to Doheny Beach, California, here. Well, he wasn't hostile. He was just doing a job. Well, 
was very subtle. He thought he was teaching me a lesson. Well, anyway, we're on the road now, okay? We're on vacation. And we're still in schedule thanks to the buffer zone. You're right. Yeah, okay. Now let's promise each other something. Promise? What? They're gonna enjoy this. We'll treat everything as an adventure, starting now. Okay, I'm already having fun. Good. And sweetie, remember that when stuff happens, it just happens. There's nothing sinister behind it. It was very passive aggressive the way he wrote that ticket. It was textbook Freudian psychology. No, it's just a cop doing his job. He's not deep enough to have any Freudian issues. What was that? Did we get a flat tire still? No, no, that came from inside. Oh my god, it's a it's a burglar or, or a squirrel. Oh my god, a squirrel. You, I, pull I'm, over. I'm what? coming, I'm yes, it yes, might yes, have rabies. I know, I know. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, there's a squirrel in the bathroom. Yeah. Honey, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna raise a ruckus and rouse him, and then the little turd ball just run out there. Oh. Uh, honey, be careful. I can handle this. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Right. You know, I left some shampoo in the sink, and it probably fell down. So no, I'm no, just no, gonna no, go no, 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 no. Up here, up here, up here. Everyone ready? <laughs> it's locked. Oh my God. It's not a squirrel. It's something with hands. Something that can unlock the door. Yeah. Thanks. I bet it's a raccoon. Raccoons have hands. Come on, come on. Probably. Get out of the, get out of, everyone out of the RV. Everyone out. Try anything and you are dead! Shoot, he's not a raccoon. Kevin, are you okay? I think I'm lost. It's just torn. I'm scared. Daddy, find him. What? Oh, oh for God's sakes. Come on, Milo. Kevin? Oh. Kevin? I can't see anything. No, 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 no. Kevin? That's crap. What was Kevin doing in our bathroom? Well, I invited him. Well, he can't come. I'm allergic to corn. Kevin? I just want to get out of here. You're going to be fine, Kevin. It's infinite. Kevin! <laughs> you see what you've done? You created an emergency situation. Oh, thanks! Kevin! Thanks. Yeah? Well, you want to go on vacation because of a stupid postcard with a glob of sand. You don't even care? The rest of us want to go to Branson. Kevin, just come come towards my voice, okay? Could you please just keep talking, please? Marco! Kevin! You're supposed to answer Polo! It is not natural for a 15-year-old girl to want a vacation in a town Marco. known for Grey Line tours, mullets, Marco. and George Cooper Lindsay. Marco! Daddy! Tell Kevin he can come to, please! Make her say yes! It's your mom's vacation, and she says no. Marco! Marco. Oh, you are so way uncool. Marco. Yeah, yeah, well, well, we're gonna have to take him home now, and that's gonna make Marco. us go back east, and that is so way uncool. Marco! Hello? Marco! Kevin! Oh, where am I? Kevin! I just want to get out of here. I think I'm lost. Kevin? No, you're supposed to say Marco! Yeah, you know, Kevin, y y you're getting further away. I don't think you understand how this is supposed to work. Whatever direction you're facing now, just, just turn the other way and go in that direction. Okay? You're all right. Polo! Polo! You're gonna be fine, Kevin. Polo! There you go. There you go. There you go. You're okay. All right. Yeah. Oh. It's my fault, Kevin. I got you into this. Sorry I freaked. You know about my corn phobia. 527. It is not for a person with corn. A fairly active drain developed in Texas yesterday as early as midweek with... How far off schedule are we, Stu? We'll make it up on the road, don't worry. 
taking a look at yesterday's clothes. Hurry up, Stu, please. Uh, I just want to stay within the speed limit, all right? Uh, we'll, we'll drop him off, and then we'll get back on course. I need you to be on my side with this thing. I'm on your side. No, I need you to be on my side in a way that I don't have to take the full blame for everything. I, I told him no, didn't I? You know, we're way off course here. What if we don't get to Doheny Beach in time? We'll lose our reservation. We'll make it, all right? Just think of this as a test drive for the RV, all right? Cookie! Property protected by Second Amendment? Hmm. Classy. All right. Hey, sweetie, let's make it quick, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Bye, Kevin. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. You can almost smell the ether from the meth labs. I don't know. It's not so bad here. He's a year older than her. And he's a year behind her in school. What does that tell you? Oh, he seems like a nice kid. Nice or special? Well, maybe he's, you know, he's, he's probably shy, I think. Are they, are they tongue kissing? They are, aren't they? They're, what, what are you doing? Oh, it's like watching kitty porn. I've got to stop them. All right, but we'll, we'll don't embarrass her. Oh. You're saying goodbye with your tongue down his throat? Yeah, I'm allowed. He's my boyfriend. I want to talk to your parents, Kevin. What? No. Mom, yes. no. no. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. All right, all right. I'm goddamn coming. What the hell is going on? What time is it? I don't know. Oh, it's 7 a.m. in the morning. God damn it. If you goddamn know what time it is, what do you ask me for? I want them to know where you were last night. You're ruining my life right now. You're ruining my life right now. Uh, they're, they're cars in the driveway. I know they're here. I got off work two hours ago. I just got to bed. Now I'm up again. I'm wide awake, and I ain't going to be able to get back to sleep. You know what I'm like when I can't get my sleep. Well, don't blame me, because I don't know who it is either. I'll tell you this. If it's a goddamn Jehovah's Witness, I'll shoot their goddamn ass. That's the truth. You're not going to shoot anybody. Uh, open the door and see. You go ahead. They put a Bible brochure on my face. They tell me I can't pledge the flag. I'll kill them. This is goddamn America. What the hell is going on? Hi, Mom. Kevin, what are you doing out here? Uh, Who are these people? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hello, I'm Ginger Gaynor. I'm Cookie's mother. Who's Cookie? Cookie, my daughter. She's dating your son, Kevin. We don't allow. Yeah, that ain't possible. We, we, we... Yes, it is now for a few months. But we don't allow Kevin to date no girls. What are they doing? Just you stay in the van, all right? Just stay, stay in the RV, OK? Dad? I'm gonna go get your mom and your sister. Hello, police? Yes, this is an emergency. Yes, he is armed. Uh-huh. Okay, oh, you know the place. The goddamn hell. So if you're smart, you're gonna put that gun down right now. There ain't no reason to call the law. Well. It's not a shooting gun. The hammer's jammed. Anybody can see that. Yeah, it don't oh, work. Well, Honey, I... your phone isn't even open. Well, well, you know what? The point is, you know, we should just stay calm. I'm calm. I'm goddamn calm, considering I don't even know what the hell is going on. This is about Cookie and your son, Kevin. Yeah, they've been dating. They ain't dating. Kevin, come on, just tell him you're my boyfriend. I, I don't... I don't think I'm allowed. Okay. Is that clear enough? What? I, what, are you gonna break up with me? Sorry. Look, sorry. I, you, you brought him home, and I'm sure you want some gratitude for that. I, TC, give him a big hairy ass. Thank you so that they'll get the hell out of here. All right, thank you for bringing him home and all that. <laughs> you don't mind, we'd like to punish his ass in private, and then I'd like to get a little sleep before my next goddamn shift. Oh, that's great, Mom. This is great. This is great, Mom. Oh, I don't even have a boyfriend. Thanks a lot, Mom. Not in the house. Not in the house! Now they're in the goddamn house. Cookie, cookie, honey. <sighs> Look, I'll go and get them. See, now this is why we have a rule about no company. Honey, open up. 
Here I am losing sleep. They broke the cat head off the welcome sign. Oh, my God. Just about does it for me. Oh, my God. Hey, Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle, can you talk to Daddy, please? Oh, you got to get her out of there and into the RV. All right, but there's no need to panic. Panic? No. We are dealing with people who decorate with rubber tires and don't even know when their own son is out all night. Hey, hey, Cupcake. Cupcake, I, I, I know you need to cry, but can you cry in the RV? No! I can never show my face again! Uh -huh. <laughs> listen, Cookie, listen to me. Now, Kevin's a nice boy, but you're only dating him because you think you can't do any better. Oh, my so God! Mom, can you shut up? <gasps> that was exactly the wrong thing to say, Ginger. Hey, little monkey. You know I'm on your side, right? Okay, and you know it's always better when you talk things through with Daddy. Okay. Okay. But just Daddy. Okay, just, it's all right. Uh, how's, uh, how's she doing? Uh, Stu's very good with her, so we'll be out of your hair in, in just a moment. All right, well, I get, would you like some coffee? I, I certainly, I have some, so. Now I gotta punish you. I mean, I ain't doing my job if I don't punish you. I know. I hate to think about punishments, just not any good at it. I know. What's with that headband? You know, this is generally my sleep time. Oh. I'm a night shift person, graveyard. Oh. You come in here, and you disrupt my household, you disrupt my sleep patterns. Well, I didn't intend on coming into your house. I didn't plan on being in this area at all. I bet you didn't, little lady. Not this side of town, the bad side of town. I didn't mean it like that. It's all over your face. Teens, tell her. It's on your face. I'm, I'm sorry. If there's anything I can do to make it up to you, uh... Well, you know, you, you could take Teens to her appointment. What appointment? Well, she's got to check in with her P.O. Parole officer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a dealer. What? I'm being monitored. Fake bags, designer knockoff stuff. You interested in any merchandise? Uh, uh no, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm fine right now. Okay, I just thought I'd ask. No, you guys can discuss it in the RV. Teens, get your shit, you gotta ride. Right. No, 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 no. Oh, wait a minute. You know, we have a schedule. We can't take her anywhere. Well, you just volunteered. What? No, I did, I did, absolutely not. I. Kevin, she volunteered, didn't she? I volunteered? No, I didn't volunteer. All hands on I, deck. We are ready to shove off. Come on, sweetheart. See you, Kevin. Sorry about the trouble. Come on, Kevin. Let's watch him leave. Remind me, how did we go from taking a nice family vacation in the RV to swimming in the shallow end of the gene pool? <sighs> oh, I can't believe I have to ride with these psychos. God! <sighs> what the hell? It's a free ride. Goddamn Ramada Inn. It's really just a basic unit. It's not top of the line, really. Don't talk yourself down, sister. This is real high class. Thank you. Why is, why is she in the RV? In fact, when I look around here, I think style. And when I think style, I think Naga Hide. I've got a real nice quality Naga Hide, $12.99. No tax, no surcharge. I think it'd be great for you. Just think about it. Uh, <clears throat> actually, we don't allow smoking in the RV. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's all right. I just, I just do it to show up my nails anyway. Oh well. <laughs> Can we go? How far off schedule are we now? We'll make it up on the road, don't worry.
Cut that out! <sighs> Stu... Well, that explains it, doesn't it? The clothes? The attitude? You can see Kevin's influence. Well, that's not necessarily true. Cookie is desperate, Stu. She's gotten into the habit of lowered expectations. Look, she's just experimenting. Ignore it. Ignoring it is a recipe for disaster. She needs an intervention, and this trip is it. So you're gonna try and convince her that this trip is all for her benefit? Well, it'll expand her horizons. Make her think beyond Kevin. Beyond Omaha. Oh, here we are. The police station. clothes. They're symptomatic of something very wrong and very insidious. She dresses fine. Fine? If she isn't a production of Kiss of the Spider Woman for pedophiles. Oh, Ginger. Stu, I just wanted to know that there are other people out there. I mean, Cookie's gonna marry the first guy she falls in love with. Yeah, that sounds horrible. You should save her from that. Oh, honey... I want this vacation for us. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Just like the postcard. Yeah, that's what you keep telling me, but I'm starting to wonder if maybe Branson wasn't a better choice. We're not gonna change our plan now. How can you even say that? Well, you're turning our vacation into some sort of crusade. A crusade? How so? Well, look at us. I mean, the kids are miserable, and we're fighting, and we haven't even gotten out of Omaha yet. We're not fighting. I'm sensing a little denial coming from you right now. We're not fighting. No, it's also this constant competition. I, I don't think you see how you treat people. You do make judgments. Sometimes judgment is all you have, and I am damn good at it. You know, how do other families do it? How do they manage? We can't get out of town without a fight. We're not fighting. We are fighting. We're not fighting. We're fighting. He's right, you're fighting. You know, Ginger, what I'm sensing is maybe a lot of this is coming out of your need to be in control of the situation. It's not a need, it's a requirement. I want what's best for this family. And don't you have an appointment with your parole officer, Teensy? I know you think you're yelling at me, but you're really yelling at yourself. It's called transference. You're not our counselor. Uh, no, well, no, she's not, but, but, uh... The thing is, uh, Bonnie uh, mentioned that sometimes counseling can work wonders. You talked to Bonnie about our marriage. Oh, stupid. No, she simply mentioned that she knew of a counselor who was really great, who got her degree from an out-of-state university. Do you hear what you're saying, Stu? Counseling? Do you hear that you're saying counseling? You know what? That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, I don't see the problem with getting help from an expert. Counseling is for troubled marriages. Our marriage is fine. We're happy. We're very happy, all of us. You know what? Daddy's right. Nobody in this family is happy, and it is all your fault! Cookie. Stuart! Did you see what he does to me? You see it? He does this to me every time. Well, he just sets me up to be the bad guy around here. I just want to go on vacation for my birthday. Is that so selfish? You know what? We're going to need to revisit that. I've, uh, I've got an appointment. Excuse me. Oh, hang in there. What's going on, Mom? Where'd everybody go? Kevin could come. No, I'm sorry. Right, we're gonna settle this and then we're gonna go to California just like your mom planned, all right? Here, do you want to see? Daddy, I don't get it. I mean, you like France and I, you love it. You I love do. everything about it. I know. Everybody there's like us. Dad, I I think Kevin would still be my boyfriend if mom hadn't butted in and screwed it all up. I mean, she's crazy. She's just She's suffocating and... Hey, don't talk that way about your mom, okay? What, you're on her side? I'm not on her side. Great, Dad. I'm not great. on anyone's I knew it. side. Cook oh. Cookie! He's a runaway, lost in Omaha. 
And I blame you, Stu. Me? It's not my fault. If you hadn't decided to have a marital moment... I just want everybody to be nice. Nice? I am nice. Until someone makes me not nice. There she is. Stu, go get her. Oh, all right. Sweetie. Come on, Milo. You know, I don't like saying things that hurt your feelings. I, I don't like... What, being but, like her? Hey, come on. Okay. No, let's not have a scene, all right? Don't talk to me like that. Not after she ran off and no. made us chase her. No. Not after she put us behind schedule and ate up a chunk of our buffer zone. Just don't take her side. He is I... not on my side. No, no one is on my side except Aunt Bonnie. Did you call Aunt Bonnie? Yeah, and Granny too. And guess what, Mom? They're gonna come and pick me up. Granny? So you and Dad and Milo can just go on your stupid vacation in the stupid RV to stupid California because I'm not going with you. Stu, I... talk to her, okay? okay? Talk to her. Sweetheart, you don't wanna miss California. Come on, you might meet some surfer dude and you might not even miss Kevin. Dad, come yeah. on, we'll spend every day on the beach, honey. Yeah. No thanks, Mom. Dohini is your titty hard on. Hey. Stu, punish her. Punish her for being a selfish little ingrate. What? You want me to thank you? What for? For giving you a good and decent home? You think your father pays for that house? You think your father pays for those clothes and those shoes? Where do you think the money comes from? Huh? Me. You know, I have a perfectly good job. I do just fine. Oh, as a bookkeeper? What happened to becoming a CPA? You couldn't go to college for those two extra years and get a real degree? I love my job. Which just puts more pressure on me. So I have to sell another house in a bad part of town just so we can have a decent lifestyle. Yeah, well, Mom, nobody asked you to do it. Yeah, well, you like to take my credit card to the mall, don't you? And Milo likes his video games. And Dad, he likes to play golf at the club. So I have to work my fanny off. <sighs> Putting up with complaints and pushing paperwork and running around with those termite guys and the roofers and the plumbers. Just so I can get a signature on the bottom line. So I think I deserve this vacation. Stu. Oh, perfect. Is everything all right? Hey, Bonnie. Um, hey, Mom. Took a call that sounded urgent. Perfect. Oh, thank God we were just two blocks away at the Lutheran bookstore. Well, you know, Cookie has a tendency to exaggerate. Well, she's a teenager. This is just a phase they all go through. <laughs> I understand, Tincher. I raised two teenagers myself. Well, I know I should thank you, and I do. Okay, I do, I thank you. But right now, I have to get my family back into the RV and onto the interstate because we're on vacation. Uh, no, maybe we should all have a no. bite to eat. Low blood sugar could put the body in a very bad mood. Would you like Granny to make you a nice stack of waffles with maple syrup and bacon on the side. Extra, extra crispy bacon. <laughs> of course. We don't have time for that. We have to get on the road now. I want waffles and syrup, too. That's why everybody's in a bad mood. They're just hungry, that's all. Yeah, we, we ate way too early. I mean, no one should have breakfast at 4.30 in the morning. Why don't we all go to my house? Cookie can ride in the van with me and Grandma. I want to ride with you and Granny, too. Okay. No one's riding with Bonnie or Granny. No one is eating waffles and syrup. Your mom's right. Dad! We, we need to get on the road. No, no, we need to make up for some lost time, all right? But everybody's hungry, and this will give us all a chance to behave better. Honey, watch out for the car. I just want you to be careful. I'm watching, Stu. I see them. All right, it's just safety first. I'm driving, Stu, okay? I'm just trying to help. Your sister should be on vacation with her own kids in Branson. Ginger, promise you won't make more of this than is necessary. She should have not have interfered. 
Sweetheart, will you pull over? I'm not pulling over. Please, would you pull over? I don't want to argue with you while the RV is in motion. Okay, that is my number one rule. You know, Bonnie's been very nice. All right. She relates well to Milo and Cookie. She's good with them. Thank you very much. As usual, your sister wins. No, no. All right, all right, let's just go over the score right now, column by column. Why do you have to do this? Why? All right, let's start with parenting, okay? I gotta give that to Bonnie. She's raised two perfect Lutheran kids. And marriage? Oh, well, she has the added benefit of being a widow. And not only that, he was even perfect. He was the high school valedictorian. You know high school ended 20 years ago. Oh, well, and I married you, right? And, and what was your claim to fame in high school? Hmm, were you an athlete or...? You know, this is the stuff you do that makes you not nice. Oh, you were a cheerleader. W which didn't carry the same stigma as it does today, so just take that one off. All right, all right, all right. Then let's go to career then. Hmm, career. Uh, oh, well, your sister has a law degree and was made partner in two years, so that's double points for her. Boom, boom. And look at Ginger's column. It's empty, isn't it? You're the only one that makes this a competition. I mean, my family likes you. I mean, they, they love you. Now that's just sick. It's probably the meanest thing you've ever said to me. No, it's true. They think we're like one big happy family. I've just never had the nerve to set them straight. That's right. You have never, never had the nerve to set them straight. Never. Look, we'll, we'll get there, we'll eat quickly, and then we'll just get on the road again, all right? Bonnie, I'm so sorry. You always hated this dog. No, I, I love Bounder. You'll never convince me of that. Never. I, I don't think Mom meant to kill him. It was an accident. We'll do what's right. We'll take him out to the old farm and bury him in the clover pasture. Yeah, he'd like that. It's where he would chase bunnies. That's right. It'll be like his own little patch of heaven. Look, um... I'll buy you a new puppy, uh, you know, uh, one that's just like Bounder, maybe even better than Bounder. You think you can replace this dog? You think you could just go out and buy me another dog and that'll take care of it? No, I, I didn't mean that. Why not just walk over and point a gun at Granny Gaynor's head and blow her brains out? Huh? Just, just shoot her dead and then tell me how you're going to replace her with a better Granny! Okay, well, no, that's not fair, all right? No. Ginger would never kill mom, not with a gun, and not with the RV. But that's what she's saying! That's not what I'm saying. No. What kind of puppy are you gonna buy to replace yeah. Granny? He's alive. Oh. Bounder's still alive. Oh. oh. Let's get him in the RV. Merciful Martin Luther. Oh, Open the door. To get him to the emergency care facility. No, 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 not in the RV. Put, put it in the minivan. It's right there. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay. The RV, we're on vacation. Ginger. I'll call ahead. I'll, I'll call the vet. Thank you. Stu, what are you doing? Saving Bounder. <gasps> I've got the key to the minivan. She was just very emotional. She loves that dog. <gasps> gosh, oh gosh. If that dog dies, I'll never hear the end of it. Dear, dear Heavenly Father, do not let that dog die, please. Amen. Oh, 
Bonnie, is he... Uh, did he die? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh, Bonnie, don't be that way. You can't give in to the weakness of expressed anger. I've always tried to be kind to you. Ever since Stu brought you into the family. I've tolerated you. Tolerated? I've even defended now, Bonnie, you. Bonnie, don't, please. Defend me? Why would you have to defend me? That's enough, Bonnie. Defend me against who? Haven't you ever noticed the way that people roll their eyes behind your back when you brag about your house or your job or your car? Why would they roll their eyes? Who? Stop, Bonnie, now. I'm tired of it. I am so sick of every event, every birthday, every holiday being ruined because we have to walk on eggshells around her. Everything always has to be about you. What are you talking about? You're a B word. The B word. There, I've said it. Now you finally have a real reason to be mad at us. Who is here for Bounder? I'm here for Bounder. Me too. Come on. May we speak privately, please? Of course. Stu, don't go. If it's bad news, your sister's going to want to be alone. Please. I'm a brother. Ginger, this is what family is for. To be together when things are tough. And you are the reason Bounder's here and might be deceased. OK. I'm going out to the RV to call Kevin. Cookie. And everything's going to be fine, Ginger. I've prayed about it. And even if the vet is of questionable ethnic origin, Bounder is in good hands and getting the best possible care. And if he's dead, we'll find a way to forgive you. Because we're Christians, and we have to. Bounder's not dead. No. The best I can ascertain, uh, he just... Uh... Founder fainted. Fainted. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. Is that even possible? Apparently so. Frightens, perhaps, but nothing more. Yeah, we just scared him. We just scared the little guy, huh? Poor Bounder. So, I, I didn't hit him, and he's not dead. He fainted, like a pussy. You owe me an apology. You want an apology from me? When you almost killed him? If I killed him, I'd apologize, but I didn't, so... Still, make her. Make her apologize. I don't think any apologies are necessary. I think we should just all be grateful that Bounder's okay. Stu, stand up for me. What? I'll give you a few minutes. Bonnie, apologize. What if I don't apologize? Apologize or... Or you don't get Bounder back. Bounder! Oh, Bounder! Wait, wait, wait. Bounder! She's stolen my dog! Cookie! Cookie, open the RV! Bounder, don't worry. I'm not gonna let her hurt you again. Give me my dog back. No, Ginger, give me my dog back. Ginger, stop it! Stop it! Cookie! Bonnie owes me an apology. Ginger, release him! Ginger, give me my dog back! Apologize. Cookie, how could you betray me like this? After all I've done for you. Give me the phone. Bounder, bite her! Ginger! Ginger, you give me my dog back! Animal Emergency Clinic? the gainer. Hi, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just enjoying spending some time with the animals. Ginger, please give me my dog back. My wife, she's not really a, a, a cat person. Not really a, a dog person either. She doesn't really like it. Well, I mean, well, she likes animals, but... You have a telephone call. Can you get your wife? Uh, she's calling from the parking lot. Hey. Stu, Cookie and I are in the RV, and we are ready to go. No. Stu, it is past 12, and we are still in Omaha. We've got to get to California. It's the Golden State, He's Stu. He's just a little dog. Bowser! Bowser, Ginger, give me my dog back! I need...
need you and Milo to get into the RV. Okay. I just want to spend a few more minutes here, all right? Honey, why are you whispering? Well, it's a hospital. They need to be quiet. Stu, we can be quiet when we get out of Omaha. Shh. Ginger, release him. He hung up on me. It's okay. It's okay. What is wrong with you? Ginger! We need a plan of action. We need a strategy. Mom! You can't go. I'm staying right here. I'm not moving. A dog can be a wonderful responsibility for a boy. My son Milo, he wants to go. But, you know, we're just so busy all the time. Maybe when he's a little older. Dr. Barry, we've got a problem. What kind of problem? My wife. Uh, yeah. All right, come on. Ginger has finally snapped. She's holding Bounder hostage and refuses to give him back, which sounds to me like theft. And I think I know what I'm talking about. I'm an attorney. No, it's not theft. It's a, it's a tantrum. Look, she's locked herself in an RV with a dog that faints. You know, maybe Bounder has some anxiety issues. You know, maybe this was a cry for help. Are you blaming me? I can't believe you're on her side. No, I'm not on anyone's side. There are no sides, all right? We're, we're, we're a family. Give back the dog. I didn't kill your dog. I know that. We all know that. So why take him? Why keep him against his will? Because you blamed me. OK. You didn't do it. You win. No, I, I didn't win. I don't win until you apologize to me. An apology? That's my demand. You can have your dog back when you apologize. What am I apologizing for? For believing the worst? For making me feel like crap? Just apologize, Bonnie. I will not. She's upset you. I see that. And she only wants her dog back. I didn't kill her dog. Everyone knows that, all right? Now, 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 here is your chance to be the bigger person. Yes, it's your turn to be magnanimous, to be better than her. What? Wait a minute. This is ridiculous. I am not going to apologize, and I will not accept forgiveness. Do you hear that? I refuse. This is not what the Bible teaches. We are New Testament Christians. I will remain in sin. I will not accept forgiveness, not from Ginger, not from Jesus Christ himself if he stepped out from the cross and said, how'd he do? I forgive you. I forgive you, Bonnie, if you apologize. Give me your cell phone. I'm calling the police. No. I'm going to call the police. Now, that's ridiculous. You could end this right now. All, all you have to do is, is apologize and be forgiven. It's in the Bible. Golden rule. What would Jesus do? Do. Rennie, come here. She won't listen. We've got to get out of Omaha. And not until you release Bounder. No. No, if you love me, if you if you love this family, you will get in the RV with Milo right now. No, no, I can't. I just can't. I can't agree with you. I'm not this time. It, She's not acting right. Daddy, Daddy okay. Ah! Everything's going to be okay, sweetie. Hey, now look, just put the RV in park and release Bounder. I can't. She'll see it as a weakness and she'll take advantage. Sorry. Daddy! Sorry! Dad! Cookie, put on your seatbelt. Come on, we're going. What is she doing? Don't! No! Stop it! Stop it! Don't let her go! Don't let, let her go! go. No.
<laughs> what about Daddy and Milo? No, we're gonna go for a walk. Walk? I, I don't like to walk. I don't know how to. Oh, we'll be fine. People in other countries do it all the time. Stu, no one in Omaha walks. I'm tired already. It's that foreign veterinarian. She's brainwashed him. We'll follow him. Eventually, he'll lead us to Ginger. Where are you going? California. Mom? What about Daddy and Milo? Your father made his choice. Who are you calling? Child services. Come on, Daddy. Daddy! Well, of course it's an answering because his ringer is off. Why do you even have a phone? Just leave it on! Where are they going? If we follow them, we'll find her. She's got the RV. She's not gonna leave town without him. Well, I would hope not. She's not that goofy. She was pretty mad. She'll probably get over it as fast as she got mad. Come on. Honey, you don't have to call anybody. I, I, I know what I'm doing. We're gonna... We're gonna go, we're gonna have a, a great time. We'll be together. And, uh... And it'll be almost... perfect. extended on this goddamn ankle monitor. Four more weeks, you're rid of that dang thing. And I don't have to drive over here after every shift to pick you up. Just keep your eyes on the road. There we go. You know how she runs these highs and lows? She's crazy. She's a little emotional. Mom? Why did you take Ginger's side? I don't think I did. Earlier at the vets, you told me to apologize to Ginger. You insisted on it. Uh, well, I was just trying to help. I was willing to say almost anything to save Bounder. So you didn't mean it? No, of course not. You really are on my side. I'm sitting here spying on Stu and Milo with you. You're exiting? Well, we're going home? I'm pulling off to get some gas. If Daddy won't answer, then I'm gonna call Kevin. God, I got that sleep-deprived disease. I know it, honey. Listen, I'll make you one of my onion blossoms when we get home, all right? We'll celebrate my good parole. I love your onion blossoms. Then I'm gonna catch up on my sleep. Kevin? Kevin? Yeah, Kevin, it's me. I really, really need you right now. Mom. I'm in the RV with Mom and Bounder. She's going to California without Milo and Daddy. Cookie? Where are you now? She's looking for a gas station. She's heading for Dodge, and I'm scared. I need you, Kevin. I really, really need you right now. Where'd you get that? Kevin, are you there? Dad, Cookie's in trouble. She's going to a gas station on Dodge. She needs us. Hurry, please. Dad, it's serious. Yeah, well, if you haven't noticed, we got our own problems. No, Cookie, she needs me right now. You're under no obligation to her that I can figure out. Dad, Cookie's my girlfriend. <laughs> I want to help her. Cookie, we're in the truck. We're close. It's going to be fine. It's going to be good. I'm not going to go. Cookie, put that phone down now. Honey, you know what? Just take a ride up here, okay? How can he have a goddamn girlfriend? He's not even allowed to date. Just leave him be. Just... Honey, do you have any idea how hard it is to get a reservation at an RV park on a beach in August? Do you? I, 
It's like getting a honey-baked ham on Christmas Eve or, or scoring Huskers bowl tickets. It's impossible. But I did it. I did it for us. Just so we could have a perfect California vacation on a golden, shining beach. Mom, we don't have to go to California to have a good time. We could go anywhere else. Hawaii. It has to be Doheny Beach. Even if we have to drive all night long and all day tomorrow straight through. Okay, see? Look at this postcard. That could be us. Mom. It's just a picture, Mom. Those two guys aren't even real. I mean, they're just posing. It's pretend that it's not real. The beach is real. The sand is real. Some are us. It's real. Mommy. Get a dog, Dad? Well, we can think about it. So, you mean if we ask Mom? And she says it's okay? You know, I think it would be good for you to have a pet. I could get used to walking it every day. Yeah, I know you, I know you could, yeah. No, I think it would be. No, definitely, it would be. It would be good. I mean, it would, it would be a puppy, so it would really depend on you. Dad, are you saying I can really have one? Yeah. Uh, I think we should get a dog. All right. Yeah. We're on the corner, just a block away. I can't leave you like this. You want to stay here? With me? Why? You're my mom. Am I a good mom? I know you love me. You, you just care too much. I know I don't say things the right way, Cookie. And I bother you about Kevin. He's He's a nice boy. But do you really want to dress like that? I don't know. I'm just having fun, Mom. So could you just like, stop scaring my friends now? <sighs> oh, Dad, there they are. Turn here, please. There he is. Okay, come out. I can't. I'm stuck. She can't come out. So it's something, something's wrong. Get out, sweetie. Save yourself. No, 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 wait, mom. There you mom, go. Run, 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 goddammit. Found her. Found her. Call daddy, cookie. Wait. Mom, you go for Bounder and we'll follow you. Come on, Kevin. I'm gonna call my dad. All right, drive, baby, drive. Drive like Earhart. Go on to the wall. Why did you pull Cookie out of the RV? Kevin said she was in some kind of trouble. I was just trying to be of help. Uh, Cookie is fine. I don't need your help with my children. You know, you're goddamn near impossible to be nice to. You know that? I just... Wanted to go to Doheny Beach for my birthday. Oh, okay, so you had a plan. How's that working out for you so far? I don't need your help, Teensy. Hey, Dad. Your cell phone's flashing. Oh, just a call from your sister. Oh. You know what? I know people like you. You test a person until they fail, right? You don't know anything about me. 
I sell purses to people like you all the time. Women who keep score and fix the rules so they get to win. You don't have a right. Oh, yes, I do. You see, I do. Because you landed in the middle of my life and dumped all your dreams of stupid doohickey beach on me. Forgive me for just not wanting to settle. I just wanted something more. I just don't want to settle. Excuse me, but what the hell's wrong with settling? I settled for Wayne Porter, and you know what? I'm all right by it. You make it sound like some kind of accomplishment. Well, I found a man who put smiley face stickers on my ankle monitor. And Stu's out here in the middle of nowhere chasing some goddamn runaway dog. Who wouldn't want that? I guess you wouldn't. Wait. Wait. There he is. He's going into the park. Oh, my God. I could have a dog. That's the plan. Founder! Founder! Uh, Deansy, help me look for the dog! That's what I'm doing. Founder! Try to hurry. I think I'm sleepwalking. said on the cell phone. Founder! Yeah? Founder! You know, when you told your parents that I was your girlfriend? Of course. Founder! Founder! Founder, stay! Here, boy, come on, Founder! Founder. Hey, boy, good boy, come on, Founder! Granny, he's still here. Oh, well, he's here somewhere. He's chasing Bounder. <laughs> Bounder, okay. Bounder! Head him off, head him off. Kind of, kind of around the front. Gotta block that entrance! Kevin, help him! Bonnie, we're gonna catch him. It's gonna be okay. It's a little late for you to start acting helpful, isn't it? Good boy. Come on, Bounder. Come on, Bounder. Mother! Oh. Stop him! Goddamn dog should have been roadkill already. Here, Bounder. Bounder. Here, boy. Stu. Stu, I just want to talk to you for Ginger, a second. I gotta catch the dog, all right? I just want to explain. I no, I don't want to hear about it, okay? I don't want to hear about Doheny Beach. I don't want to hear about your summer of us. I wasn't there, Ginger. Your summer of us doesn't include me. I just, I just wanted to go someplace special. Someplace where I was perfect. I just wanted you to be there. Why? What is it you think you could, you think you can add me to your perfect moment? And then I'll be perfect, and then what? Then you can love me? I, I love you. No. No, I think you want to love me, and I think you remember loving me. I just really think that's the best you can do. It's a terrible thing to say. Yeah, it is. Here, Bounder. Bounder. Bounder! You can whistle? Come here. Come here, puppy. Come here. Bounder, come, come here, here, boy. Come on. Come here. Come here. Oh, Bounder. 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 
good, good boy. boy. Kevin. Good boy, Bounder. Save my dog. Oh, you saved my founder. Founder. Oh, thank God. Founder. Oh. Will you teach me to whistle like that? I'll try. Oh. Bonnie. I, uh... I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't do it, Ginger. My dog had a near-death experience. Honey, look at her. I think she really means it. That's the problem. She has no idea. She didn't have a clue what this dog means to me. You're right, I don't. And I am sorry about that, too, Bonnie. Look, what I'm trying to, to tell you is that you have been a wonderful aunt to our children and a loving sister to Sue. And you have always You've always been good to me. And I'm sorry. I've just been trying to help. I know. I know. Well, I shouldn't have called you the B word. Can you accept my apology? Ginger, you don't have to apologize. We're family. Should we hug? Hug? Maybe Christmas. Yes, Christmas. We can hug at Christmas. Christmas is good. You know, if, if we left right now, we could s still make it. We'd be a day late, but the beach will still be there, right? someplace better than California. Really? I can keep him. He's looking for a home. got a perfectly good house here. With all the convenience, why not use it? Well, we bought the RV for vacationing, so, you know, here we are. Well, what are your neighbors gonna say about you camping out in your own yard? They're roughing it, Bunny. But that doesn't mean we can't go inside and use the ice. It's summer in Omaha, we need ice. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. What's this? Oh, that's a channel bag. Channel? Mm. Shouldn't it be Chanel? Oh, Chanel, Chanel. I get that all the time, but you know what? What difference does it make if I give you a bottom line going out of business price on it? Oh, for sure. Come on over here to the chow line. How do you like it? Done or well done? No, no, I'm here on official business. Headquarters dispatched me to pick up a parolee who's, who's not in compliance with a court order. Stu, how do you open this door? Oh, Bonnie, that thing's kind of tricky and complicated. It's that's not to fiddle with it unless you've read the whole manual. Smells good. How those smell good? Why don't I fix one up for you? No, no, no. I can't do that. I, I shouldn't have any. Come on. Nope. This is Omaha. We're husky people with hearty appetites. Well, well, maybe one more just for me, OK? All righty, there you go. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty big. Nice big steak, huh? There it is. I got it. It's open. Oh, no, no. Well, I, 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 Box of beef. Hey, I can't do I'll this. take that home. Come no. On. <laughs> mm, it's a nice view. Beautiful view. Mm. I like it here.
thinking about remodeling. Remodeling what? The house. You know, fix it up. Fresh coat of paint, new wallpaper. This could be a real showpiece. Uh, that sounds inconvenient. We could live in the RV while the contractor's tearing the walls out. Tearing walls out? Oh, yes. To create the new atrium breakfast nook. Ah. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I, I can't believe you subscribe to this channel. Well, I, I thought it was a food channel, you know, spice. Sports car. What? Hmm? So I'm thinking, yeah. You know, something exotic, fast, a bright red. Hmm, we have the RV. Well, we could trade that for a Porsche. Oh, I forgot. My, my, uh, my sister left a message for you. Oh? Yeah, she wants to know if you want to take ballroom dancing lessons with her. Really? You'd have to be the man, though. Mm. Again? Mm. No, I had no old love. Girlfriend from, you know, from before I met you. It's two. Don't say her name. Don't say I her name. Dagmar Don't. Burke. One date at a high school dance does not make her your girlfriend. Mm, no, that was a very special memory. Her mother called your mother to make you go. Western town in Nebraska. Don't know why I left so long ago. All I know is this western town in Nebraska lives in my heart and my soul. Grew up in this western town in Nebraska. Running home from school. Playing ball in the street Oh, when I see my mom I'm gonna ask her Was life really so simple and so sweet? I'm a-going home Where the buffalo roam So I can see my next of kin And maybe have a gin I'm a-going back See my Uncle Jack To feel my mama's loving arms. I'm from a western town in Nebraska. We're all family, neighbors, and friends. Because this western town in Nebraska is the place where the love. I'm 
from a western town in Nebraska. Can't wait to hear some tales of long ago. Because this western town in Nebraska lives in my heart and my soul. Stu, uh, you hear that? No, no, I was asleep. Honey, it's the puppy. Uh, hmm? He needs to go out. Stu, uh, he'll piddle on the rock, honey. Uh, Come on. Uh, yeah. Mm. 